Hi guys, last year I did a video showing one of these little cheap ESCs that I get off eBay and trying to work out how the brake works because you can get these say very cheap on eBay you can get them with brake or without brake and I'd got some with brake but they don't come with instructions explaining how they work so I was trying to work it out by just operating it what I didn't realize was my Flysky FS T4B here doesn't give us the full range of control to get the best out of them so if I go forwards we get, we get forwards if I go forwards and throw it into reverse the brake takes effect so the wheels stop running okay but then if I want to release the brake I have to fiddle around with it trying to find the mid position and you can tell when it's in the mid position because the the high-pitched whine changes tone and you can tell I'm having trouble getting it it's forwards ah there we are, different tone Now we got reverse. Forwards. And as you can tell, that's totally impractical. So although it's working, I just can't use it effectively with this controller. And as I say, I didn't realise the problem was this controller doesn't give me the full throw so if we take it off the controller entirely and just use this servo tester I haven't got my glasses on so I can't remember which way round it goes Okay. With the servo tester, I can do the full throw. So, reverse, forward, brake. But in the brake position, if I go all the way as far as it can go, as soon as I start coming back forwards, We're in, shut it up a minute. We're in full reverse. So the way this one works, or that ESC works, you've got forwards, throw it to backwards, and the brake comes on, go all the way as far back as it will go, then when you start coming forwards, it's the brake releases and you're going backwards. That sounds very confusing saying go forwards and you're going backwards, but that's what it is. My controller doesn't go far enough in the throw, but my servo tester does. So as soon as I start to move off the full back position, or call it the brake position, it will start spinning in reverse. Forwards, brake, full brake, reverse. And I just can't do that with that controller. Doesn't matter how I trim it, that controller doesn't give me the full throw. 
and I didn't realise that and it's taken me about a year to work it out. I did the video in April 2015 and it's only but when I've been setting this car up and playing around with the servo tester that I realised how the ESC worked so I thought I'd better do another video just to demonstrate. So forward, brake as long as we've gone all the way to the full brake, as soon as we start going forwards again, the motor starts off in reverse. And I couldn't find anywhere that told me that's how it worked. There was no instructions, and I surfed the RC forums, and although they talked about it, nobody actually went through it in detail and said that's what it is. Forwards, brake, all the way into reverse, start going forwards again and the motor is in reverse. And see it just won't go from forwards to reverse without going through the brake situation. In fact, I thought I'd got a 40 ESC because I went all the way to. Let's see if we can do it. No, it won't do it. I went all the way into reverse and then realised it stopped. And I thought, well, what's going on there? Is it 40? But it's not. That's the full brake effect. Brake. Reverse, forward, brake, reverse, forward, brake, reverse. It makes no difference what I do with my Flysky FST4B, I can't get it to do that. I can fiddle with it and it will do it but that means I'm messing around like this trying to adjust it and that's no good if you're trying to race a car.